Hey guys, welcome to a brand new deck preview. I'm going to be going over every single leader from OP2 Paramount War to get you guys ready for the set when it releases in mid-March. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay up to date with new videos that drop. Um, leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy this deck and you think that you're going to be playing it on release. Um, and leave a comment down below if you would change some of the ratios or you would change some of the cards in there as well. Let's jump into today's video, which is Edward Newgate. For those that can pretty much already see, he is a six life, 6,000 power leader. But his end of turn ability, which is an automatic ability, you add one card from the top of your life area to your hand. So he will pretty much KO himself and, and kind of cost you the game in six turns if you don't do enough. However, as a 6,000 base, it's going to be very hard to get through um, and do damage to him on your opponent's turn. Going into the deck itself, we always have to chuck in four Nami. Absolutely perfect in this deck. Um, she is from the starter deck set one. She is a one cost 1k, but the activate main is what we're here for. Once per turn, you can give your leader or one of your characters one rested Don cards. Literally replaces herself with her own Don when she's played. Um, you can grab that in the starter deck from set one. Three Marcos we're going to be running in this deck. It's a three cost 5k vanilla. Um, stock standard, very good. Uh, Vista, we're going to be putting four of. He is a three cost 3k and on play, he's going to be KOing up to one of your opponent's characters with 3,000 power or less. Just a bit of removal just to make sure you can control uh, your opponent's board, depending on what you're looking at. We're going to put two Zoros here from the starter deck as well. Um, here's a 3 cost 5k. Now, this is not the Rush Zoro. This is the Don underneath, and he gains 1,000 power, bringing him to 7,000 uh, on your turn. Only two of those. We've got other cards that we kind of want to fit in. Um, is still quite a strong card still, um, but we'll jump over to the other cards that we've got here. We've got Atmos here for 4 cost 6,000 vanilla, two of as well. Um, just some pressure, some real good pressure onto the board itself. You swing at leader, they've got a combo two. Um, unless they're playing white beard and then they've only got a cost, uh, combo one. We've got Jozu at four. He's a four cost 4k. Um, he does gain rush if you put a Don underneath and you've got two or less life cards and you are your leader is a white beard pirate. But the main reason why we're obviously putting him in here is because he is the 2k counter. Uh, absolutely. Stock standard in decks these days, you want the 2k counters, they're, they're so crucial. Um, and majority of the 2k counter cards don't really have anything fantastic in terms of their skills. Um, they're really just there to make sure that you've got that combo power to go forward. Um, we're going to be putting four Marcos uh, in here as well. The rare from OP2. He is a four cost 5k. He is a blocker. And on KO, you may trash one card from your hand with Whitebeard Pirates in its name. If you have two or less life cards, play this character card from your Trash Rested. Replaces itself uh, as long as you discard a card, which is kind of like filtering itself anyway. Um, so play him back. Even, even if it is Rested, he's still a blocker um, for the next turn. And obviously, if you have two or less life cards, which you're, you're self-inflicting damage anyway. So majority of the time, you'll probably be down there um, when, you, when you're playing this leader anyway. Another vanilla, it's a 5k, uh, sorry, it's a 5 cost 7k. Um, a few vanillas in this, you just kind of want to play your cards down and be able to kind of swing aggressively. Um, and yeah, King Dew is absolutely fantastic to do this in, in set two. The SR from OP2, we're going to be putting three ace in here. He is a 7 cost 7k. On play, you give up to two of your opponent's characters, minus 3,000 power during this turn. Then, if your leader has Whitebeard Pirates in its type, this ca this character gains Rush during this turn. Again, you're putting on a lot of pressure trying to do damage to your opponent uh, before you get windled down and you're kind of at uh, lethal range. Um, every turn that obviously the clock's ticking, you kind of want to be able to play something that is going to be able to, to put the pressure on your opponent and kind of do that damage. Don't forget, obviously, Edward is a 6,000 power. Uh, card so he will be able to kind of absorb a lot of pressure your your opponent's leader has to attach a dot every time it wants to do damage 
And then also they've got to play something that's got at least um, 6k to kind of do some damage or they have to combo uh, some of their dons to make sure that it actually goes through. We're going to get to pretty much the meat of the deck itself. We've got a lot of event cards, 20 in total. Um, we're obviously going to put four Radical Beams in. This is a set one um, event card. The counter effect of it, your leader or up to one of your characters gains 2,000 power during this battle. Then if you have two or less life cards, th that card gains an additional 2,000 power during this battle. Again, there's a lot of cards in this deck that play around you being at two or less life, um, which is fantastic. Uh, you kind of, that's kind of like your sweet spot. You've got to kind of, you know, if your opponent starts to do damage at you, um, it's probably not ideal. You, you probably want to go down to two life yourself. That'll be four turns. You'll be, you'll be almost at maxed on, um, depending on obviously which, who went first. Um, but you'll at least be kind of at that range where you can play, you know, King Du, you can play Ace if you really wanted to. Um, so you'll be able to play some of your big bodies on the board by the time you get to this, this two or less life, um, yeah, so the trigger also on the Radical Beam as well. Your leader up to one of your characters gains 1,000 power during the turn. Um, that is an ongoing effect for the turn as well. So, I mean, you you pop that and somehow you get Edward to 7k for the turn. I don't really think your opponent's going to be able to swing into you and to do damage. Um, so, a four of, absolutely. A new event card. It is a rare from set two. We are looking at Sea Quake. It is a one cost. It does also have a trigger, but the main effect is if your leader has white beard pirates in its type K up to one of your opponent's characters with 3,000 power or less, absolutely insane for one. Um, it does control the board again for one. It has the exact same effect as Vista. Obviously, Vista gets to stay on the board, but you have to pay three for him. Um, and also, Seaquake obviously has a trigger. Give up to one of your opponent's leaders or character cards 3,000 power during this turn. Um, kind of insane. It kind of, again, stops the pressure that might be coming from your opponent. Uh, but an absolute four of there as well. So a lot of low cost um, event cards that are really going to be able to kind of mitigate that pressure as well because you're kind of putting pressure on yourself with this leader anyway. Four Whitebeard Pirates, a event card from OP2 again. It is a one cost. You're going to be able to activate its main and you're going to look at the top five cards, reveal one Whitebeard Pirates if you find one um, and add it to your hand and place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. The trigger, you'll be able to activate that main effect again. Um, Gum Gum Red Hawk, uh, a four of. Uh, the card is absolutely insane. Um, it is a two cost for for it being a counter. Uh, your leader or up to one of your characters gains 4,000 power during this specific battle, so not for the turn. Then KO up to one of your opponent's characters with 4,000 power or less. Quite a bit of removal in this deck, um, just to kind of control. You've got your big boys on the board that. They're very hard to control as well. There are seven Ks, some of the vanillas, you know, six Ks as well. Um, there are obviously certain cards that are able to deal with this, but depending on the matchup, um, you'll have no problem at all putting on the pressure while you're kind of absorbing that at six K um, on your lead. The trigger, give up to one of your opponent's leaders or character cards, 10,000 power during this turn, pretty much makes any card on the field. Um, that is inactive, that hasn't swung yet um non-existent virtually giving it neg 10,000 power unless it's got a, a nice auto effect when it swings uh they're probably not going to be able to swing with some of their threats on the board so again it just mitigates that pressure um onto you already and then the last card um that we're putting in it's another four of it's another event card it does cost two and on your turn if you have one or less life cards your edward newgate and all your characters with white beard pirates in its type Gain 2,000 power. Insane. Um, pretty self-explanatory. This is kind of like your, your end game uh, result here. To give everything 2,000 power for two, ideally you want to already have a board. You know, you might have one ace, one king do. You even got the Zorro SR. And a lot of these vanillas, this makes Vista a 5k swing for every other leader that's not Newgate. Um it's going to be able to do damage. You know, this is why you're playing uh, these low-cost, high-power cards. Um, Nami, obviously, you know, you want at least one of her on the board so then you can kind of give your rest of Dons around. And Marco to kind of keep that blocking pressure on as well. So 
this is what I believe is the way to play um, this kind of deck. Obviously, the trigger on Moby Dick as well allows you to play this card. Um, you obviously don't have to activate triggers, guys, if you don't want to. Don't forget, this is on your turn that Moby Dick um, is available, but you've got to bring yourself down to one or less life cards. So, um, yeah, it, you're really you're really playing around that two or one stage. That is kind of your lethal round, um, but you want to be able to put on a lot of pressure to kind of get them down to about one or two life, and then really go hammer and tong with the with these uh, event cards like Moby Dick. Um, and yeah, just controlling the board with like uh, Vista and obviously Sea Quake. But that is that is my deck preview, guys. This is what I in, imagine and envision the deck is going to look like once it comes out. Like I said, leave a comment down below what you would change if you would change anything. If you're happy with the the deck preview, go ahead, play it. Let me know how you go um, with it once OP set two releases very shortly. And thank you so much, guys, for tuning into today's video. We hope you enjoy this and, and check out our other videos um, if they are already out or, or subscribe to make sure you get notified when our new previews come out for other OP2 leaders. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. And as always, enjoy.